I'm Stuart Barnes, uh, I'm the marketing manager at the Edinburgh Art Festival. The Edinburgh Art Festival is 10 years old this year. It really grew from the idea that uh, visual arts needed to have a, a voice during uh, the summer festivals. And what we've really tried to do is over the last few years is really build the programme so there's a mix of fantastic exhibitions of the absolute highest quality. With this year's Edinburgh Art Festival programme uh, is very extensive. We've got 50 exhibitions uh, across the city, uh, ranging from contemporary works, um, like uh, Peter Doig at the National Gallery, we've got uh, Gabriel Otka at the Fruit Market, Rachel McLean, Fiona Banner. And for our 10th year, we've got 10 public artworks, um, one of which you can see behind me. And these are really to take our out of the gallery spaces. Um, it's 10 new works by some of the leading international and UK artists, and then also some emerging artists as well. This work is by Sarah Kensington, and it's called Windpipes for Edinburgh. The instrument is there for anyone to play. Um, so audiences are invited to come in and actually play with the pipes, uh, to man the bellows, to play the keys, and as you see it's been colour coordinated so that anyone actually can begin to play this instrument. All of the commissions uh, aim to create a bit of discussion between people. What we are keen to do is that the festival becomes a platform um, that we can showcase new emerging talent as, as much as the uh, kind of leading artists, and that there's places to gather, can meet, can mingle, can make new connections. To keep up with you know, the latest trends and emerging artists, we work very closely um, with art colleges. Um, Edinburgh College of Art is a big partner of the art festival and we try to make sure that we've got a, a kind of view on um, the best young artists emerging across the UK, so not just Scotland, um, but across the UK and across Europe. And we've always had a commitment um, to introducing younger artists and giving them their first break. We really do try to sort of pick up on emerging artists and give them a sort of bigger platform to show. I think uh, the advent of online portfolios and a lot of um, sites that try to showcase young um, artists' work have really helped with, um, help people to raise their profile as, as they graduate. I think the most important thing still is actually sort of focusing on their own work all the time um, and to try and make as many direct connections um, with places like the art festival, with galleries, um, with artist run spaces and to actually make personal connections because quite often it's those personal connections that they end up making um, which can drive a, a new opportunity to exhibit and then opportunities will arise from that. At the Edinburgh Art Festival we always uh, open up the volunteer programme. We do that quite early because to actually have a team that we know and can train up um, we need to get them recruited uh, kind of in May and June um, but there are always opportunities to get involved in the festival. We try to make sure that around 85% of the festival is free to attend um, so there's lots of talks, uh, lots of networking events that young people can come along to find out more about the artists on show. Um, for example we have a series of uh, talks by the commissioned artists for this year so it's a great chance to come along and hear from artists talking about their work and maybe meet some of the artists at those events and all of those are free um, and they happen throughout the festival.